Well, hello, Hyperspace. My name is Devontos, and it's time to get hyped because this is some Infinite Warfare gameplay. And I'm going to show you guys the best secondary pistol to use in Infinite Warfare. And it's that one right there. That is the Oni, the Tangu variant. Now, the Tangu is a little different from all the other Onis. Now, if you actually look at the other Onis, they have they start off shooting very slowly, and the fire rate escalates over time until it shoots ridiculously fast. The Tangu actually does the opposite. The first four shots come out ridiculously fast, and then it starts, you know, slowing down the fire rate the longer you hold on the trigger until it's literally firing like one bullet a second. And it's very, very slow, and that's very, very bad. So they actually want to use this as a burst gun, and the reason that makes this weapon so unique is because the Oni is a four-shot kill at close range. Well, that's technically a three-shot kill at close range. A little further it gets to the four-shot, and then at long ranges, it's about five to eight shots. So it's actually kind of weak. But because of the first four bullets that leave the magazine come out ridiculously fast, you will be downing people like you will just be downing people so quickly. It is insane. You're going to see throughout this gameplay, I get really close and I just one burst them and it happens so fast, they don't have any time to react. And the only weapon that can actually beat this at very close range would be a shotgun or I guess a lucky sniper rifle kill. And um, the key to using this pistol is actually to be accurate because those first four shots come out really, really quickly. And if you miss one of them, you're gonna, it's going to take a little longer to kill the person. So if you're accurate with your shots and you land the first four bullets, you can down anybody who comes your path. Now, with this uh, Oni Tango, you can actually engage people at long range as well. All you gotta do is just waste the first four shots and when it starts slowing down, you can actually use it as a, I guess, a miniature sniper rifle. And because the bullets come out so slowly, the gun doesn't have any recoil, which means you can actually shoot... <clears throat> you can actually shoot people from across the map. And, of course, it's going to take a while because the gun's, you know, it's a pistol, it's not meant for long range, but you're still going to be landing every single shot. You see right there, I missed the first few shots and it starts slowing down, and it takes a while to kill the guy. But, as I said, at close range, this gun is a beast. Now, the only way you can actually unlock the Tango is by completing mission teams. You have to use the Blood Anvil mission team, and I believe you unlock this once the mission gets to level... I believe it was in his 30s, once you get to the 30s. It's not the last pistol you unlock, I mean the last weapon you unlock in Blood Anvil, but it's one of the best weapons you can possibly get from any mission team. I think the best primary would be from the Blood Anvil, it's the Karma, I forgot what it was called, Pro Probus? Probias? Something like that. That is the best primary weapon you can get from the mission teams, and the best secondary, I would say, is this. It's a machine pistol, which means it's meant to conquer all close ranges, and with that four-shot kill coming out so quickly, you will be the king at close range. Unless they come up with a shotgun. But it is very, very important to keep in mind, you have to be very, very accurate with this pistol. Because the instant you pull the trigger within like half a second, maybe even a third of a second, those four bullets will be coming out so fast, you will not have time to adjust your aim. So make sure you put your pistol on target before you press that trigger. And also, um, because the bullets come out really quickly, it does have a little bit of recoil, so that means the close range burst fire rate is only good for close range, and I guess semi-medium, but remember, when you get to those semi-medium ranges, that's when it becomes like a 5 to 8 shot, so you will have to hit them with the burst, following by those weaker, you know, shots that's coming out the Oni. Now, you actually see this gameplay, I'm actually doing really, really good, and I don't have any attachments on this weapon. I actually started using this weapon because I'm trying to complete one of the little missions to, uh, you know, level up my team, and it was basically, get what, seven kills using a secondary, and, and I did it, and you see, I don't have any attachments, and wait till you see the score at the end of the game. So imagine how good this pistol would have actually served if I put, like, three attachments, four attachments, and an eye on sight. This pistol is insane. But it's not overpowered. Keep in mind it's a pistol, so it's supposed to be used at close range, and because of the four-shot burst, it makes it one of the better pistols to use, but it cannot compete with shotguns at all. Regardless of the shotgun, the shotgun is going to beat you at close range, and obviously you can't beat snipers because you gotta have way too many shots down range, and a sniper just needs one. And then even at medium ranges, you will be beaten by almost every single assault rifle. I'm just saying regarding, regarding the sidearms, this is one of the best pistols to use, and if you are a pistol kind of guy and you like running pistol, and you know how to position yourself, how to move around the map to get close to the enemies, I would say this is a very, very good weapon to choose, and it's going to serve you well in the battlefield. So, for the attachments, I'm not running any, any attachments in this game, as I said, and you see I'm doing really well, but if you were to run attachments, you don't really need that much. I would say you could probably put a laser sight to, you know, help you out at close range in case somebody pops out of nowhere and you don't have time to ADS, you know, land at least three, four shots, kill the guy. If not, you can damage him and then punch him. Something to help you out at close range in case you gotta be a little inaccurate. And I would say you wanna increase the headshot lethality because 
chances are the kick for the first four bullets will drag the gun up to the head, and if it doesn't finish them off, the slow firing fifth or sixth bullet would be a headshot guaranteed to kill. And also, you want to put the... Uh, not rifle barrel. The one that makes the gun have longer range. This is an energy weapon, so it doesn't have rifle barrel, but the one that gives the gun more range, you want to slap that on the tangle because, well, it's a pistol, and as I said, it's a 5 to 8 shot kill at longer ranges, which really hurts the weapon. Adding that increased range can really help you out. And I guess you can probably put an eye on. I think the ions on this pistol are really clear, but if they kind of obscure your vision and you want to put like a dot sight or something like that, you know, that would also really help out. And that's basically about it. You don't really need anything else. One thing you do not want to run on this pistol is dual wield. And the reason for that is because technically it's dual wield. You got two. The first eight bullets that leave are going to be very fast, but it's going to be very inaccurate. And then you are going to be wielding the slowest firing dual wield weapon in the game, and that is a terrible idea. So that's that's basically about it. Just put a dot sight if you need it. Maybe add you know laser sight, not yeah laser sight, ram servo, and thing that makes the gun have greater range. Whatever it was called. I don't know too many attachments in this game. <laughs> so uh, that's that's it. Just run it. And for the perks, I would say you can you need scavenger because this thing surprisingly eats up a lot of ammo. And then you can have ghost and blind eye for mobility. And then any other free spots you have when you create a class, you can freely put whatever you want. Tactical grenades. Lethal grenades, maybe, you know, put some marksman, I don't know what you're going to use marksman for, but anything you want to put. It's it's a very, very flexible class. So, that's about it. I'll leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay. It's almost finished. And if you like this video, punch that like button with a mighty force. You can follow me up on Twitter at DevontosMan. And as always, I'll see all of you in the next video. Have a nice day.